so hello learners welcome to iit madras student community youtube channel and today we are going to talk about how to ace your iit madras qualifiers okay so as we all know iit madras india's top technical institute offers us four years of bachelor's of science degree in data science and application with option to exit earlier in foundation diploma or bsc degree level but in order to get into the institute one need to clear its qualifier exams first so like qualifier exam is just like a admission test sort of thing which is of 4 hours and whenever you are going to you know enroll for this course four weeks of course work will be given in in the online portal with the credentials given by the institute itself and the four weeks of course work consist of four foundation and level courses that are english one mathematics for data science one statistics for data science one and computational thinking and everything will be provided like materials lecture videos notes in the online portal and every week an assignment will be given and the candidates need to submit it and they need to get a bit good marks like above 40% okay so this will be the eligibility for the hall ticket of the qualifier exams so you need to get uh, at least 40% in the average of best two out of the first three assignment scores for example total four weeks of course work will be given so like four graded assignments will be there so in the first three assignment scores that are week 1 week 2 and week 3 you have to get at least more than 40% in any of the two week of graded assignment and then only you will be eligible for getting the hall ticket but you need not to worry much about it because if one stay tuned with our youtube channel all the answers with proper explanation are uploaded here before the deadline so you just need to subscribe our youtube channel and stay tuned okay okay so now coming to the end game that is the qualifier exams the learners who will get the hall ticket will be eligible to appear for the qualifier exam and the qualifier exams will be offline that means one need to physically go to their assigned test center according to their admit card and give a 4 hours test based on the 4 weeks of course work done by the candidates now the minimum marks to pass the qualifiers are as followed for general candidate one need to get 40% in all the four subjects like minimum 40% you have to get more than 40% and like the average of all the four subjects should be more than 50% like yeah the minimum requirements are like pretty high but can't complain because this is iit madras so the qualifier exams will be in cbt mode that is computer based test and it is similar to je main cbt test but even if you have never appeared for je mains or any cbt test the rules are pretty straightforward and simple and even if you face any problem during your examination there will be officials in your examination center who are going to help you out but still i am going to give you a rough layout of what you can expect Uh, while giving the examination as i can give you the real iit madras uh, question interface or exam interface because we are not allowed to take our phones in the examination center but still it will give you a pretty rough idea so here you can switch between your subjects like math stats english and computational thinking and the mcqs will appear here and now coming to the bottom box that is save and next save and mark for review clear response mark for review and next okay so as you can see there are many white boxes appearing so if the boxes are white that means you have not yet visited the question if you have visited the question and not given any response like you have not ticked to any quest any answer or you have not given any numerical value uh, in the answer box then it will turn red and if you have clicked save and next then it will turn green that means the response that will be given will be uh, taken for evaluation now for example you have solved the question and you are pretty confident that this will be the answer but still you have some what should i say uh, doubt that i think i should do it again but there are not much time left then you can click for mark for uh, review uh, save and mark for review that means uh, the boxes will turn purple with a green dot that means you will get an idea like i have to again work on this question but the answer that i have given will be taken for evaluation okay 
now if you are uh, if you have seen a question that you can do but it is a pretty lengthy one but you have not much time left and you want to see other questions also then you can go for mark for review and next that means the boxes will turn purple that will indicate you that uh, you need to again visit to this question in order to solve it and one can submit a paper uh, not before one and a half hours so yeah and also the proper submission time will be mentioned in your admit card so let's now talk about the perks of joining this program first of all you're gonna get IIT Madras ID card which is pretty awesome you know and also you're gonna get IIT Madras student email ID using which you can claim many student benefit programs for example github student developer pack figma and also you can create an account in unites and get apple products for a very good discount so this type of programs are pretty expensive but because of the student email id things get pretty affordable for many students and other than that one will get welcome letter certificates and degrees after clearing qualifiers foundation diploma and bachelors and also the students are gonna get alumni status and who can forget events like paradox it is the official IIT madras uh, bsc in data science and programming's fest so like it is a pretty good deal, you know, uh, students uh, across India who are enrolled in this program gets invited over here and they can participate in multiple sports, interactive sessions, cultural events and also workshops. Many hackathons get, uh, uh, get hosted over here and students can win amazing prizes, right? And also, it is a pretty great way of, uh, you know, expanding your network and also this uh, events are pretty happening so yeah it is worth giving your efforts in this program and you are not gonna regret trust me so let's talk about the IIT Madras qualifier syllabus so as we all know that there are four foundational level codes that are mathematics for data science statistics for data science computational thinking and English so let's start with mathematics for data science right so now we can categorize the syllabus in four weeks in week one you're gonna learn number system and in number system you're gonna learn natural number rational number real and complex number after learning this you're gonna learn the set theory over where you're gonna learn the construction and subsets and supersets and also you're gonna learn some theory part for example cardinality etc you're gonna learn all of them from the live lectures that will be provided by IIT Madras itself and then Concluding week one, you're gonna learn the functions and relation and their types. And you're gonna have to also do the graded assignment. And then you have to move to week two. In week two, you're gonna learn the rectangular coordinate system. And in rectangular coordinate system, you're gonna only learn the straight lines. Actually, in rectangular coordinate system, there are many parts. For example, straight lines, parabola, circles. But you're gonna only learn straight lines right now, okay? So in straight lines, you're gonna learn these topics that are slope of a line, section and distance formula, area of a triangle, parallel and perpendicular lines, representation of a line, general equation of a line, straight line fit. And then you have to do the graded assignment. After that, you have to move to week three. In week three, you're gonna learn the quadratic functions. In quadratic functions, you're gonna learn the slope of a quadratic function, maxima and minima, vertex, and quadratic equation. And lastly, in week four, you're gonna learn the algebra of polynomials and graphs of polynomials. In algebra of polynomials, you're gonna learn the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and divisions of algebra of polynomials. And also, you're gonna learn the algorithms. And in graph of polynomials, you're gonna learn the x-intercepts, multiplicits, end behavior, turning point, and graphing and polynomial creation and then graded assignment and you will all set to go for your qualifier exams so like yeah the syllabus is pretty overwhelming but even if you do week one two and three in a very systematic way in a very studious manner and complete the graded assignment the practice assignment and also do the mock test i can assure you that you're gonna get a very good marks in mathematics so okay now coming to statistics for data science Again, we can categorize the syllabus in four weeks. In week one, you're gonna learn the types of data where you're gonna learn descriptive and inferential statistic and scale of measurements, okay? After that, you're gonna do the graded assignment. Actually, you know what? I'm giving a very vague overview of the syllabus. You're gonna learn it in details from the live lectures provided by IIT Madras, okay? In week two, you're gonna learn, learn the categorical data where you're gonna learn frequency distribution of categorical data graphing of categorical data, mode and medium of categorical data, okay? 
after that in week 3 you are going to learn the numerical data where you are going to learn the frequency table measure of central tendency where you are going to learn its mean median mode okay then you are going to learn the quartile and percentile and then measure of dispersion where you are going to learn the range variance standard deviation IQR and five number summary and trust me week 3 is pretty important in terms of qualifier exam because most of the questions comes from here and this is the part where you, you have to like really give efforts like I can assure you that if you're from a science background then many of the topics from the maths part will be common to you but statistic most probably like you have to learn from scratch okay so like for this reason it is a bit difficult for many people and then in week 8 you have to learn associations between two variables like association between two categorical variables, relative frequencies in contingency tables, associations between two numerical variables and over there you're gonna learn the scatter plot, covariance, Pearson correlation coefficient, point by serial correlation coefficient. Like over here also you have to like carefully do all the grid assignment, the practice assignments and the mock test and I can assure you that you will know what type of uh, what type of questions are gonna come in a qualified exam and you can answer it accordingly. And like you may say that you have to complete the whole syllabus but trust me that is not the case in any competitive exam. Like you have to get your concepts like crystal clear because over here the main motive is not to complete the paper but to get as much as positive numbers as possible okay so now after statistic for data science coming the computational thinking and trust me when i say if you are from a computer science background like if you have taken computer science or computer application in your high school then it will be easy but but then also like if you give a bit of efforts like same formula you have to do the practice assignments you have to do the graded assignment and you have to do the mock tests and I can assure you that you can get pretty good grades over here also. So in week one, you're gonna learn the basics of variables, initializations, iterators, filtering, data types, flowcharts, and sanity of data. Like these are pretty basic topics. And then coming to week two, you're gonna learn the iterations, filtering, selection, pseudocode, finding maximum and minimum, and also you're gonna learn a bit about the AND operator. In week three, you're gonna learn the multiple iterations that are non-nested, three price problems, procedures, parameters, side effects, or operator. And lastly, in week four, you're gonna learn the nested iteration, birthday paradox, and binding. Like, I can assure you that if you are from computer science background, like if you have taken it in your high school, then it will be like really easy for you. Otherwise, also, if you give a bit of efforts, then also it will be easy for you okay now you may think like i have to complete all this like how can i complete so much like i have not even opened english but i can trust i can assure you that english is the what should i say the easiest uh, of all over here but then also like you can see the syllabus is pretty huge like i'm zooming out everything and just see such a big syllabus so the basic formula will be to just clear your concepts, know how to solve the problems. You have to know what type of problems are going to come because you don't have to learn everything. You just have to know what type of questions are going to come and can I solve it or not. And you can get that idea by solving the previous questions which will, uh, which we can provide you, like our YouTube channel can provide you. Then, uh, you know, uh, you have to solve the practice assignment, graded assignment, the mock tests are really important. And this way you'll have a very general idea like, what type of questions are gonna come and you can answer accordingly because it is technically not possible to complete everything in a very uh in your 100 percent and appear for the exam in four weeks like that is really unrealistic expectation so you have to work smartly and then lastly in english it is pretty easy like you have to know about sounds and words sentences and audio comprehension and uh, remember you have to take your Head, uh, you have to take your earphones or headphones with that audio jack okay like no usb uh, headphones are gonna allow or not the bluetooth ones also you have to take your headphones because if it is not there then you are going to have a lot of problem because most of the marks are going to come from your audio comprehension so this is all about the syllabus for IIT madras qualifier and syllabus and we wish you a very very best of luck for for your preparation and we really hope that you will uh, clear your qualifier syllabus and uh, have a great college life ahead because it is really fun and it is really worth giving your efforts